Okay, guys, I'm now joined by Gamalia Foy. He's just found his keys, finally, for his car. <laughs> just want to fill everybody in on what's just happened. Um, basically, I'm, while I was training, um, Cal, Cal hid my car keys in his <laughs> boxing boots, so I'm looking for 20 minutes for my car keys, and eventually I found them. He's looking all over the place for him. I thought he was going to blame me at one point. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare. I was speaking to him earlier about some of the stuff that you guys get up to and some of the, like the little stories that you might have. And I brought up uh, America when you was on the, um, on the pier and you went behind some old guy and he was telling me about that. But yeah. well, I asked him, like, what's the funniest thing that he could try and think of that you guys have been through and he couldn't off the top of his head? Well, what's the funniest thing that you can remember? There's been so many, so I'm trying to think... Um... Oh, I can't, I can't think, man. There's been too many. Because he just he always says that when he was out there, he was just kept saying that he was just a joker. He just kept him just laughing non-stop. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm man. I've got like uh, playing jokes and not like, fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are here to talk boxing, and you're back in the gym now, preparing for September 8th. Yeah. Uh, sorry, August 4th, first of all, Joe Cordina's fight. You know, what have you got planned uh, for for that in terms of an opponent, and then moving on to September 8th? Uh, I don't know yet, I think that's just to get out, you know, to get back in there and then in September the 8th, um, a total fight, um, so um, just ready now, just training, training hard and ready to go again. You've had time to reflect on the Gavin McDonald fight and what were your thoughts now you've you've looked back on it? Basically, my own fight, I just messed up on the night, I did perform to how I should have, um, I'd taken a bit away from Gavin, um, he did what he had to do to win but... I think um, you know. I think most people know they didn't see the best Kamaya for, um, but it is what it is. Um, I'll take my hat off to him and move on. Your first defeat as a professional. So how how did you react to that at the time, and how are you looking at it now? Oh, it was horrible. Um, for me, uh, I don't, obviously I don't like losing, um, but it's life. Um, whatever sport you're gonna do, you're gonna lose, and it's how you come back from it. And um, I intend to come back good from it. So what level do you see yourself coming back at? Do you, do you see maybe just a couple of British level fights or going straight in at the European mix? What would be your preference? Um, to, to, start, to fight at European level, you know. Um, I've, I've, to, to be fair, um, Gavin's um, world level, so, um, you know, uh, I've, 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 to be honest, I, I think that was um, a fringe world level fight, um, our fight, but um, like you say, I fell short, I'll step back down and I'll work myself back up. I've, done it before um, as an amateur many times lost to top kids and I've come back and I've you know gone and done better than them so you know uh, we see um, like you say it's only box it's boxing and you you win some you lose some um, and you learn a lot in boxing and that I learned a lot on that night so we we'll see we come back I, I'm you know I'm one of them I'm hungry I'm, I will come back stronger 100 percent so when you look back now in your eyes, do you think maybe that was a fight too soon or do you still think it was the right time? The, the thing is, like you say, you look at it now and you go, yeah, maybe it was a fight too soon, a couple of fights. But at the end of the day, if you look at it before the fight, um, many say, uh, you asked, you asked, I don't know, you asked 10 journalists, boxing journalists, 9 out of 10 say me to win. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, you, look, you can look at it like that, but... I just, I just think I boxed, you know. D don't get me wrong, it would have been a hard fight either way, you know, if I'd boxed on the best, but it was the best Gavin McDonald, and it was, uh, one of, I wouldn't say the worst Gamal Yafo, but, you know, not good Gamal Yafo, so, um, like you say, it was always going to be a hard task, but I'd, I I never once believed that he'd be able to beat me, you know what I mean? I, I didn't think he would beat me. Um, tactics was, tactics from my side were poor, um, for a complete wrong fight, complete a fight that um, is, I've I've never boxed like that um, in my whole career as a boxer. So I don't see why I did it, and it kicks like does my in every day. I think of it like, why did I box like that? When I don't box like that, um, I should have been aggressive. How I normally I um, should have put it on him. How I normally do when I do fight. Um, maybe it would have been a different fight, but like you say, there's. I don't want to sound bitter. I'm not a sore loser. I'm a, you know, my man. I'll take the last. I'll take the last and I'll shake his hand. That's the way I am. Um, but I'll just come back stronger from it. Since then, uh, Gavin's fought Stuart Hall, one of your uh, old um, 
camp mates. I know that he's, he's looking to retire now. So what are your thoughts on that fight? How, how did you look at it? Um, it was, it was, well, it's it's kind of it's hard way to look at it because, like you say, it's um, it's it's um, Stuart Hall who's you know on the sly. Um, is 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 um, it's, it's hard way to look at it because it's one of them. Um, maybe maybe Gavin McDonald didn't. It it didn't look nothing special, no, never. But it's oh, I'm trying to word it. Without, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, maybe uh, Stuart Hall wasn't, you know, Stuart Hall knows himself. He's come, come to the end of his career. Um, yeah, he had things, things that um, I'd let him say if, he, if if you do have, him, but you know, he had things not, you know, that weren't gonna, what that he had stuff going, yeah, on stuff that going on that maybe affected, maybe affected him. But um, like you say, it would have always been a hard night for me either way. Um, Gavin McDonald's on the high, you know. Um, Stuart Hall's on there, you know. Is uh, let's be honest, he's, he's retired, so we all know that. You know, and the best um, best Stuart Hall. Um, but uh, it was a it was a decent performance, and like you say, Stuart Hall, uh, box decent as well, but not enough to be a young, you know, fresh. Look. I'm not, you know, looking good, Gavin McDonald. <laughs> And we're also going to move on to your brother now, Cal, just back from America. You must be jealous that he's just had a few extra weeks out there after his win against Carmona. Oh, no, man. I, I, see, it's the first time I've been to America, so um, it, was, it was mad. It was mad. Uh, that LA life, man, it's, it's, it was just funny, man. Funny. Talk to me about In N Out Burger. Um, I had, uh, you're not too far, I only had In N Out Burger twice. It was, it was lovely, but I, I was training as well, so I didn't want to, you know. Go there a lot, but uh, it's banging, man. Is it as good as what Cal makes it out in your eyes? Yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's banging, man. Lovely. So, obviously, Cal's out there. What did you make of his fight with Carmona and another impressive performance as he's looking to get either a unification or a big name fight now? Yeah, um, I thought he boxed well. Obviously, um, first round for me was, you know, my heart in my mouth, but. It's a good fight. He, 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 but that maybe that helped him. That helped him when he did get hurt. Well, when he did get hurt in the first round, made him realise, you know what, bloody, I can't can't mess up again. Um, and he put it on him, and he, you know, got the win. And he, he, hurt, he you could tell. He, we, I was sitting there ringside from the from the fifth round. I think it was. I remember saying to my little brother, "This ain't going past eight. Um, he, he came out of there. Carl's, you know, in his room now. He's gonna. And Carl will get stronger. And um, like you say. When you're when you're tiring and you got someone like Cal on you, it's over. Is Cal for you, you know, putting any type of ice aside? Is he, in your opinion, the best super flyweight in the world? Um, well, um, we we'll find out. We we'll find out in the next year. Um, I'd say his his defo top two. I think it's between him and Estrada. Um, I think Cal. I think wrong side. I think um, I think Cal can, I think Cal will have a hard night with uh, Estrada more than he would have done so. Um, that's my personal opinion. Uh, what about Ankar Jazz? I think Cal beat Ankar Jazz. I don't. I, I, yeah, I think Cal beat Ankar Jazz. I think the hard his hardest fight is Estrada. And I just want to end on, like, I don't mean to with Cal outside on his Porsche and he said that yourself and him always said that when you put yourself in a position that would be your dream car to get and he's got it. So is that for you now? You're feeling the pressure to get yourself on? Yeah, now, listen. Because he just said he's going to buy himself a new one in the next couple of weeks, yeah, he's yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, Well, maybe he can give me that one. <laughs> uh, um, You're still a charger. <laughs> yeah, nah, okay. you know what? Cal, Cal's all right. I'll pay him off. I'll, <laughs> I'll pay him. I'll get a loan off and pay him off. Um... Nah, uh, like obviously I want the we want the cars and we want you know, but for me it's just be, being clever now, um, you know doing doing good stuff with my money, being clever, pointing in property, and you know s s when I finish boxing I can just like live nice. But yeah, if I can get a portion, I get a portion as well. <laughs> so you're looking to follow the footsteps of Calvin because Carl said that he's very good with his money. He don't tend to touch his purses. Yeah. He uses money from other revenue streams yeah. that he brings in. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, but obviously I'm I'm not there on that level yet, but I, I do believe 100% I'll get there. Um, like you say, this loss made me hungry, and um, I'd, there's a lot of people that will, you know, think, oh, no, nah, I ain't got it, but I oh, know 100% I have, and um, we'll see in the next few years.
as always, Gamal. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers.